Hello guys, welcome to Modern Web again. In today's video, you'll learn to create this e-commerce website. This video is part of Full Stack e-commerce website. In this part, we'll make all front-end pages. We'll make back-end UI and database thing in other parts. So as you can see, this is our home page. We have a logo at the top left. And search box on the right. Then we have navigation links. We have a simple looking header section. After that we also have a product slider, which of course has dummy products. But in upcoming videos we'll create the product card dynamically with JS and database. Our cards have simple hover effect, showing wishlist button on hover. After cards, we have collections section, which is showcasing different categories. Then we have some more product cards. And last we have footer on home page. Our footer is not a simple one. It has a good design to practice CSS grids and flexbox. So this is our home page. Now let's see product page. Product page has the same navbar and footer. But after navbar it has product detail section. Again this is just a dummy product just for design. In upcoming videos, we'll make this product page a dynamic page for all the stored product data in database. We have image carousel on the left. On the right side we have details and also a custom radio button for size selection. Then it has a full description section. After that again the same product sliders to give users some product recommendations. At the bottom we have the same footer. Now let's see our search page. Search page is very simple. It has same nav bar and footer. And in the middle it has search results. A simple and modern looking search page, isn't it? And the last page we'll create in this video is 404 page. Most people forget about it. But why to forget it? So our page is very awesome looking and simple. It has an image at the center and simple message with home page link. Those four pages we'll create in this video. Before starting the video. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you are new to the channel. Make sure you subscribe it right now. Because you don't want to miss next ecom website parts. And you can get the source code from the description below. You can also support me on Patreon by buying my $5 membership, or you can buy me a coffee. 
Your donation really motivates me in making these awesome tutorials. Without wasting more time, let's start the video. This project will be a Node.js project. But we will not initialize the NPM now. We'll do it later. You can see I have a public folder, inside it I have an images folder. You can download this image folder from the description. So create CSS folder inside public folder. Create JS folder also. And then create index.html file for home page. Inside JS make home.js file. Inside CSS file, make home.css for home page and nav.css for navbar styles. Now let's start working on our home page. Start with HTML basic template. Give a title to the page. Link home.css file to it. Inside home.css use import keyword to import nav.css file. Now create a nav element. Give it navbar class. Star selector is used to give styles to all the elements. Set each element's margin and padding to zero. Now, style navbar element. Give it a sticky position. So it will be relative but always stick to top. Set its z-index to the highest number possible, so the navbar will always be on top of other elements. We can't see it because we haven't given it a height. Remove the height. Now create a div and give it a class nav. Add a logo using image tag. Use display flex here to make space between logo and search box. Give height to the logo. Now create search box. Like this. Make an input for search field. And make a button for search button. Now style them. Use display flex here to align the items in center. Give search container 500 pixels width and set its display to flex.
Set search boxes width to 80%. Round the left top and bottom corners. Give it a border also. Background None will remove its background. Outline None remove the Chrome's default black outline. Set its width to 20%. Set its border and outline to none. Round its right side corners. Use placeholder keyword to style inputs placeholder. Inside nav items create an anchor tag. Inside it use image tag to make user image. Do the same for cart. Give margin left to it. Now create AUL element outside nav items. Use li tags to create list item. Inside it use an anchor tag. Use display flex here again. Give some padding to it. Use list style none to remove bullets from the list. Give some margin and padding to it. Text decoration none will remove the underline. Set its opacity to 0.5 and give a transition for smooth effect. Use hover selector to add hover effect to the card. 
Great we are done with navbar. As you know, this navbar will be same in all pages. So instead of copying this navbar to all pages, I'll make this navbar from JS dynamically. And then import the script to all pages. It's again your preference on how you want to do things. So make this navbar from JS. Create a nav.js file. And link it to the home page. Here make create nav function. Inside it, select the NAV element using query selector method. And write its inner HTML. Just cut all HTML elements that are inside navbar. And paste those elements inside inner HTML assignment. At last call the create nav function. First let's see the output without the script. You'll not see anything. Now add the script. Great. Navbar is dynamically created with JS. Now we just need to add nav element in all pages and nav.js script. Isn't as simple. Now let's make header section. Create a header with class hero section. Open home.css file and style hero section. Calc is a CSS function used to calculate values. In this case, we want the section height to be 100 vh minus 120 pixels. Add a background image to it. And use background size cover to fit the background. Use display flex to align the content in the center. Make a div with class content. And inside it add logo using image tag, and also add a short text. Display block and margin auto, they both work together, and place the element in the center. If you don't know any of these properties, feel free to ask me in comments. Our header section is also done. Now create product sliders. Create section element. Give it relative position, and hide the overflow. Give it top and bottom padding to 20 pixels.
Make an H2 element, which will be the heading for product category. Give its left and right padding to 10VW only. Give it margin bottom also. Capitalize the text. Now create a div with class product container. This will container all product cards. Make a div for product card. Make another div inside it with product class. Inside it add image using image tag. Give it a class product thumb. Let's style the product container now. Here also give padding left and right to 10VW only. Display flex will align the card side by side. Overflow X auto will add scroll bar when there is an overflow in X direction. And scroll behavior smooth will give us smooth scrolling effect. Use WebKit scroll bar selector to hide product containers scroll bar. Use flex property here, give it this value. This will allow the card to have its own width and height, as we are using Flexbox. Give it some width and height. Give margin right also. Now style product image element. Set its position to relative because we'll have some absolute element inside it. Hide the overflow. Use object fit. Now make span element above the image element. Give it a class discount tag. Style it. Give it position absolute. Give these simple styles. Capitalize the text. Now create button element below or after the image tag. Give it a class card BTN. Give it absolute position also. Use translate x minus 50% to align the button the center on x axis.
Set its border, outline to none. Add cursor to pointer. Set its opacity to zero. And set it back to one on hover the product card. Add hover effect to the button itself. Now outside product image element, make a div with class product info. Inside it make an h2 element for brand name. Then make AP element for short description. Give it padding. Uppercase the text. Set its line height and height to same value. And use overflow hidden to hide the overflow. Set its opacity to 0.5. Now make span element for price and actual price text. Give 900 font weight to price text. Text decoration line through will add a line over over the text. Give margin to short description. Now copy the product card and paste it seven more times. Now change the image of each card. Above or before product container make button element, for pre and next button.
Give these style. Give with 10 VW because we have 10 VW padding on left and right side. Give absolute position. Use display flex to center the arrow image inside the button. Give a linear gradient background. Set left to zero and rotate the button by 180 degree. Now set next buttons right to zero. Set button's image opacity to 0.2. Add hover effect to the button. Now open home.js file, and let's make the slider working. Link home.js to index file. Here select all product containers using query selector all method. Then select all next button and pre button. Now loop through each card using for each method. Store the card dimensions inside this variable. Get item bounding client rect will return the elements dimensions. Store the containers width to this variable. Now add click event to next button of the current index. Here increase items scroll left value by container width. Just copy this whole event. And change next to pre. And instead f increasing, decrease the scroll left. Now you can see the slider is working. Now let's make collections or gallery section. Make a section with class collection container. Use anchor tag here. And inside it make an image and a p element. Copy this two more time, and change the contents value.
Use display grid here. Use grid template columns to set two columns. Add grid gap also. Give relative position to it. Give object fit to image to fit the image. Give absolute position to P element and place it to the center using top left property. Nth child is used to select nth number of element. Use grid columns for last collection to cover two columns. Give margin bottom to it also. Now copy the product section and paste it two more time after collections. and change the image of each card. I cut the part where I changed the images. Now make footer. Make footer.css file. Import this file inside home.css file. Give position relative to it. Give padding also. Create a div with class footer content. Inside it add logo using image tag. Set display to flex. and set justify content to space between. Now make a div with class footer ul container. Inside it make unordered list. 
first list item will be our heading. So give is a class. And other list items will have anchor tag. Copy this whole element and paste it again, change the heading. Give 45% width to it. Use display flex here also. And set justify content to space between. Give its display to grid. Use grid template column to create two columns. Add grid gap also. Set headings grid column to span 2. Style the links also. Add hover effect to the link. Now make P element for about heading. Then make another P element for info. Move these two elements outside footer content element. Style the heading and info element. If you don't know any of these property feel free to ask me in comments.
and make sure to subscribe my channel for more awesome tutorials. Make some more info p elements. Now make a div with class footer social link. This will hold our links. Make two div inside it. And inside those div make links. Like this. Use display flex here also. Set color to white. Set first link's margin left to zero. And at last create another P element with class footer credit. Give it these simple styles with absolute position. We are done with footer. Now as we did for navbar, we also want footer to be made dynamically with JS. So let's make it. First make footer.js file. Now create a function name create footer. Inside it. Select the footer element using query selector method. Then here also assign its inner HTML value. And at last call the function. Copy this whole element and paste it into the inner HTML.
Now see the output without the script first. You'll not see the footer. Now add the script. Great. It's done. Our home page is done. Now let's create product page. Create product.html for product page. Inside CSS folder create product.css file. And inside JS folder create product.js file. Write the HTML5 template. Give it a title. Link home.css file because we'll have product card slider in this page. And also link product.css file. Import nav.js and make navbar. Now import footer.js and make footer. Import home.js and copy the product slider from home page to product page. So these were the repeating elements. Now let's make product info element. Make a section with class product details. Inside it make a div with class image sliders. This will be our product catalog. Give it 100% width. Use display flex to align the carousel and the detail side by side. Give it a fixed width and height. Also give relative position because we'll have some absolute element inside it. Give it a background image. Make a div inside it. This will contain all the images of the carousel. Add four images here. Also add active class to the first image. We'll use this class to check for active carousel image. Give it some style of course. Use position absolute to align the container at the bottom of the image. Use display grid and make four columns for four images. Give grid gap and padding also. The images are too big. Let's make them small.
give its height less than the container height, and use object fit property to fit the image. Now set 0.5 opacity to the active image. Outside image slider, make a div with class details. Make an H2 element and P element for short description. Give its width to 50%. Style the texts now. Now make price, discount elements. Give these simple styles. Use line through to make a line over the text. Now let's make select size section. Make AP element for the heading. Style it little bit. Now make an input element. Set its type to radio for radio button. Give it a name. Name attribute is very important. Also give value, ID, hidden attributes. These all are important. Hidden attribute will hide the input. 
Make a label element now. Give the input's ID to the labels for attribute. Give it a class also. Copy these two elements and paste them as many size buttons you want. Change the input's value attribute, ID, and label for attribute. Do not change the name attribute value. Because name attribute group the radio buttons, quickly change all the values. Add check class to the first label and checked attribute to the first radio button. Now just style the label elements. Give its display to inline block. This will make the label element an inline element and make all labels side by side. These are very simple property. Give different styles to the checked label. Now at last, make add to cart and add to wish list button. Give it some padding, border radius. Set its background to none. And give it a border. Add some margin to it. Style cart button now. Give different styles to it. We are done with detail section. Now we just want a full description section. Make a section with class detail description. Make an H2 element inside it. Give it margin bottom to make some space.
Now make AP element for description. Just give it a color and line height. We are done with styles. Now we just have to make carousel working and size button toggle. Select all product images. Then select the image slider element. Use for each method to loop through the image elements. Add click event to all images. This variable will store current active image. Remove the active class from the current image. And then add active class to the item element. Store its index to the active image slide variable. And at last change the background image of image slide element using style method. It's working. Now let's make size button functional. Do the same, select all the label element. And this variable will store the current selected label. Loop through labels and add click event to them. and toggle the classes of the label elements here. It's done. Our product page it fully done. So we just have to make search page and 404 page. So let's make those pages now. Make search.html file. And inside CSS folder make search.css file. Write HTML5 template. Give it a title. Link home.css and search.css file here.
Now create a navbar and link nav.js file. Now make a footer and link footer.js file. Make a section here with class search results. Make an H2 element. Style it a little bit. Make the span element bolder. Now copy the product container form homepage. And paste it here. Copy the card element and paste as many time as you want. Change the image also. Give its display to grid. Which overwrite the flex properties. Make four columns. Give some row gap. And it's done. Now make 404.html file. And inside CSS make 404.css file. Write HTML template, give a title. Link home.css and 404.css file. Now make navbar. Link nav.js file. Here make image element. And also make a p element to give a short message. Make an anchor link here. Now style the image. Use display block and margin auto to center it.
Style the short message now. Great work. We are done. So that's was for today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And learned something new. If you don't want to miss other e-com tutorials. Make sure to subscribe right now. Also share the video with you friends and colleagues. Show your support on my Patreon. If you have any doubt feel free to ask me in comments. Thanks for watching. Thank you.